Hello and welcome back. I'm just going to demonstrate just how easy it is to set up those game directories that I showed you earlier on in the tutorial. Um, here is www.whdownload.com featuring all the pre-installed WHD load games for the Amiga um, lovingly compiled by Killer Gorilla and hosted on this site by Magic and all I'm going to do is quickly download one game which has not yet been set up uh, and show you how easy this is to do so I'm just picking Jet Set Willy 2 the Amiga version and there it is downloaded and all I need to do is unpack that so if we close this down you can see there it is and there are the Jet Set Willy files so there's Jet Set Willy folder there's the slave so if I just dump this with the rest of them onto the micro SD card. We can see that in order to make this work, all I've got to do is set up Jet Set Willy 2 and rename the slave game.slave. And that's it with the game data being here. That's set up on the Amiga side of things just like everything else. Now, the next trick is we are going to be looking at the configs um, which are here now it is required that one be set up for each game but largely they're going to be the same um, obviously I've got many already set up so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the one from Pang and I'm going to rename that Jet Set Willy 2. And in each of these config folders is .uaerc. Now, this is um, an invisible file, so I've had to show hidden files on OS X. And all we do is we open that with text edit or whatever text editor you prefer. And we can see here I've got my kicks folder set up for the ROM path. Uh, ADFs etc. Everything I have running off of the 3.0 kickstart ROM. I just find it's the easiest one to use. And here are the two essential, most essential lines. DHO set to boot HD which I showed you earlier. And DH1 is set to, in this case, Pang. We're just going to change that over to match the game folder with our slave in. So we very quickly roll back to the HD. We'll notice that the format is Jet Set Willy 2, capital J, capital S, capital W, and a 2 with no spaces. And we just make sure that that is exactly the same there. And it is case sensitive. So you want to get it right. So now our Jet Set Willy config file points to the correct position for DH1. Uh, a few other pointers I do have. You'll notice uh, I do have full screen 720 width. Uh, most importantly I have Amiga full screen oh, sorry graphics full screen Amiga equals true and the uh, this obviously gives you an instant full screen mode on running the setup. Uh, I also have set up a custom layout specifically for the PlayStation Pad input config 1 and you can see all of these are all lined up with the right buttons for the PlayStation 3 Pad um, which 
I mean, I shall put a copy of that in the comments or something if anybody's interested. Um, as you can see, I've got the emulator quit button is on button 16, which is the PS button. Uh, I also have the numpad multiply key uh, set on select, which we talked about earlier as being the WHD load quit key. And other than that, I'm struggling to think. Ah, yes, use a GUI I've set to no. This stops EUAE from bringing up the graphical user interface and just launches straight into the game. And that's it, that's that's my lot really. That is my basic UAE config, which I just alter on text edit. And as you see, uh, I've altered very little for this one. Obviously, you can put in a customized joystick config for each game should you so require that's um, at your discretion so I shall save this and close it down and that's ready to roll that config file lastly I have my launch scripts now this is a launch script for Linux so this is the one that I click right at the end that makes the game run. So if I duplicate one of these, for example duplicate my Cybernode one, and these you can name whatever you like. So these ones I like to make look a little bit tidier, I put spaces in them, that sort of thing. And what I'm doing here is renaming this Jet Set Willy 2. And I'm going to again edit that in text editor and you can see all it does is it scoots with a CD over to the correct position for in this case Cybernoid so I want to change that to where the config configuration file is for Jetsa Willy 2 and then it runs UAE um, that I am sure can be set up better to just be uh, UAE without all the extra dots in front of it but I just haven't got around setting it up properly I'm lazy this script works so this is what I'm using as I say CD into the right directory run UAE nothing more than that and I save that and that's my lot all I now do is run this script from within Linux on the PS3 and we will get to see Jet Set Willy 2 in action. And we'll go from there.